Hey guys, J77 here, doing a very special update, an update which I've been following for the last uh, 16 hours, um, and now it finally came to surface. Um, fired Penn State coach Joe Paterno has died. Um, he died um, this Sunday morning at around, uh, at least at my time, 10:34. It was pronounced. Um, he was 85 um, after his death. Um, he was uh, stricken with cancer um, for some time, time. It was announced that he was diagnosed with a very serious cancer, and um, just yesterday it was reported by a lot of major news, CBS and NBC, that um, he was taken off life support. Now, Bettino had a very successful career with with, uh, with Penn State. Um, he has um, coached there for pretty much all his uh, his entire career, um, and. Unfortunately, um, he was fired in such um, very sad circumstances. Um, he was pretty much involved in less scandal, a child sex abuse scandal, which pretty much uh, ruined his integrity um, throughout the throughout his final uh, months um, in um, as a as a coach at Penn State. Um, it pretty much rattled um, the whole entire school, um, and um, to have him die like knowing what. Um, what went down it's kind of a, it's a sad sad stain on his um, legacy because it is a very good legacy but unfortunately um, many people also remember um, him for not doing anything when it came to this um, situation um, this child abuse situation um, then his uh, successful career um, I'm not gonna go any further on that I think that I'm gonna leave it to you guys to comment on it and what you're feeling on it um, but um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna informing people that um, yeah he has passed away. Um, he was taken off respirator around I believe eight o'clock p.m. Um, the reports kept coming in every five minutes that uh, Bettino was on his last days. Um, he was barely um, able to speak. I think his speech went to whispers. Um, and um, according to reports, that he requests that all his immediate family um, to be by him to say his final goodbyes. Um, again, um, Joe Bettino um, had passed away at the age of 85. Um, and uh, there's right now they're going to be right now from what I understand uh, there are people who are sending their last respects by sending candle lights uh, around the school and everything else he still is a very very uh, very well loved a very well respected coach in Penn State uh, regardless of what happened there and um, for what is worth I think that um, for what he accomplished in Penn State um, cannot go undermine it but I, again, um, the scandals have hurt his uh, hurt his uh, reputation um, right up to his death, and it's unfortunate. But uh, what do you guys think about that? Uh, what do you guys think of um, this coach and the news and his passing? Um, do you still think he's a great coach despite all the stuff that's happened um, in the last few months, or do you think that um, that he did not um, he did not have he did not um, get um, a chance to, he did not have the justice um, that uh, he should have been when uh, when this thing has happened in other words do you think he should have uh, do you think that he got away with a lot of stuff that um, that went down I'm gonna leave that up to you guys I'm gonna leave that up to uh, what you guys comments on um, but again this is the report that's going out um, and so with that I'll leave you guys to comment and um, and rate um, again this is Jason 7 saying signing off